Wait, what, what, what's that Colin Flaherty book? Don't make the black kids angry or something like that? Yeah, or White Girl Bleed a Lot, which I yeah. know the people who fucking that book was based on, the title that book was based on, and none of them have read it. I guarantee you half of them don't, most of them don't even know the existence of it. And yeah, so talk about that a little more. Like, what do you mean you you know? Oh, they're just like uh, River West. It's it's the, uh, you know, um, it's like a hipster neighborhood in Milwaukee. Um, it's where like all the punk rock and hardcore metal, whatever, DIY punk rock basement shows happen. You know, like like yep. small venues, uh, basements, you know, art galleries, you know, dive bars. It's where all the punk rock shows happen. I used to hang out with a lot of these people, playing bands with them, go on tour with them, hang out at their frat houses, with you know, punk houses. Maybe you, maybe you or some of the viewers have some experience with that kind of thing. You know that scenes are like a huge breeding ground for Antifa types. So if you, if you see Antifa types or BLM types, there's a, a, a high probability that a lot of them have come out of that scene, right? But so basically one night they, uh, on 4th of July in like 2011, they were hanging out in the Reservoir Park in River West on like Bremen. Um, and uh, they were besieged by a mob of youths, shall we say. And yeah. uh, as they were beaten down on one of the blonde girls, uh, one of them said, white girl bleed a lot. Police Chief Ed Flynn is promising to make sure his department responds better in the future. The victim count has risen above a dozen. New at 10, 12 News Nick Bohr talks with victims who are hoping the incident can lead to some positive change. Right here, we're here at Gordon Park. This was the site of a packed house meeting here tonight as people came sharing their concerns about this mob beating Sunday night, which has injured some 13 people at the latest count. Within minutes of a group of young people ravaging a gas station convenience store, some two dozen people were targeted by an even larger mob at Reservoir Park. I was in shock. I just stood there. I uh, couldn't move, and I saw them coming at us, and I, there was nothing I could do. Jessica tells us she fled in fear. I actually started to run down the hill and then turn back around to go back, and I realized I couldn't, and to see my friends getting kicked in the head, and I just had to go back down the hill to safety. Uh, it was very traumatic. One of those friends shows the signs of the attack. What happened to your eye? I don't know. Could have been a fist or a bottle. I don't know, honestly. James Zajakowski says he was swarmed under by mostly male teens. The strangest thing I've ever seen in my life, and it was so chaotic. There was just punches thrown. Um, before I knew it, I was on the ground and being kicked, and it, people were rifling through my pockets trying to get my phone and my wallet. It's tough to even like determine what happened, um, how many people there were and stuff. Um, it was scary. It, yeah, it was, it was terrifying, but it was also, I don't know, more in shock than anything else, I guess. And uh, Colin, Fla Colin Flaherty wrote a book documenting you've uh, mob violence, titled it White Girl Bleed a Lot. It was based on that occurrence. And uh, yeah. since since that book has come out, I've read it. Um, also, also, like the cops and the media did not accurately report on the hate crime aspect of it because it was clearly a hate crime because they say oh. White Girl Bleed a Lot. James says his friends who are white heard some racial comments directed at them, but he really doesn't know whether race played a role, as some have suggested. Um, I hope, if anything, it doesn't create more animosity because it's, I don't know, Milwaukee can be a beautiful place to live, and I hate to see it like create that kind of division any further. Now, police say that four parents have come forward in the last 24 hours to turn in their children after they saw them on that video so far. No formal charges have been filed. Um, but since I've read it, I've tried to reach out to a handful of the people that were involved in that incident. And I've been like, hey, yep. were you were you aware of this book? Have you if, if you are aware of it, have you read it? And they don't respond. They just block me without even responding. They're all Black Lives Matter supporters. They're all Antifa supporters. Yeah. It's insane. We've, we've kind of digressed a little bit here. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, it... it... But like that, but that—that's how this like swelled so large because people just stopped like associating with those people, and they've been getting like louder and louder and louder, and like fucking the epitome of a fucking echo chamber where they'll—they will only talk to people mm. that don't go off script. It's that's why it's like dogmatic and cultish. Yeah, and uh, 
Yeah, I mean, these people just get wasted all the time. They go to really shitty punk shows where, like, only, like, one out of 20 bands that you see is actually decent. And they they all seem to realize this. And they they all seem to sort of, in some compartment of their brain, realize that the politics are bad and stupid and don't make any sense. But they're sort of playing the game. You know, they're shit-testing each other. They're lying to each other. It's just, it's really ugly and gross. And they're all on drugs. And they're fucking each other's girlfriends. Did and... Degenerates. Yeah.